My name is Cody Carrera, and I'm the songwriter and singer of Your Sin. It's my first single off my upcoming EP called Fire. When I wrote Your Sin, I imagined a lot of different themes. Most people are going to interpret it as a love song, but I wrote it specifically based off my relationship with God. I told it through the story of a love song. It deals with themes of religion and persecution. I told them the one line I didn't want to change was, maybe God himself couldn't save us from what we got ourselves in, because it's sort of a tongue-in-cheek reference to people always pointing the finger at you saying that your sin is bad, your sin is bad, and when they're not even looking at their own. And in the bed scene, I'm bound by these black ropes, and that represents being tied to my sin. I've met so many people that are bound by religion, which to me is the complete opposite. God is love, and God is freedom, God is peace. You cut to, in the second verse, I'm now in a bathroom, and I thought to myself, at this part of the story, I've run away with the person, and we're in a, like a dirty old motel room, and they're still in the bed at three in the morning, and I wake up, and I go, and I'm like watching my face, and like regretting what I've done and I turn on the shower and the bath and I'm in a sense baptizing myself. The white veil represents my innocence and when it's being ripped away, I'm starting to give in to the sin. My innocence is literally being ripped away. When I have the black veil over me, I've given in to the sin. Well, my second single off of my EP is going to be Consumed. My EP is actually a concept EP. I have a story that's being told and every progressive song continues that story. I give you presents, you give me pain. I give you Consumed is probably the most personal song off of the EP. A lot of people I think can relate to it because it's one of those things when you're in a relationship or you have feelings for someone and you feel like consumed and constricted by them. Like almost like you're being devoured by them and I really took that and interpreted it into the song. In the music video, my concept for that was I'm the platter that the people are being served. When I'm whispering my secrets to these people, because I'm the one being consumed, and I'm telling them this story, I'm telling them this story of being consumed by this person. One of the lines in the song is, I'm spilling my secrets. So I'm literally going around the table whispering in everybody's ear, spilling my secrets to them. And they don't care. They're not even listening. They're just interested in one thing and eating and devouring and consuming because we all are consumers. And then at the shot of the bar, again, like in your sin, I'm self-reflecting. It's like I'm speaking to everyone at the bar, but I'm literally looking in the mirror, talking to myself and telling myself the story of how I, I was devoured by this person, consumed by this person, and just on a string. And then at the end, when I walk out of the restaurant, I'm moving on, I'm done. I'm being played for a fool. The next song off my EP is Beautiful Disaster. I wrote Beautiful Disaster as the climax of the story off of the concept EP. It's definitely the breakup, leaving song. So now all I have to do is say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now get out of the way. Because I gotta save myself. I imagined being in a gazebo because I really loved the sound of music growing up. It reminded me of Liesl and Rolf and how Liesl loved Rolf so much it was her first love and then he ended up being a Nazi. <laughs> and with the coffin scenes, I really wanted to put into physical form a lot of my stuff. I wanted to show the damage that can be done when you hurt someone, be it in a relationship or friendship. People don't really take responsibility for their actions or what they say and do, and it leaves people hurt. And I wanted to show them that you can literally kill someone with your words. But then I rise up to being quote unquote dead, and I take back my happiness in a sense. And I have all these people coming up to me saying goodbye, saying goodbye to their past loves, their past hurts. And I really wanted to show that. The, the relationship, the love has literally died and there's no turning back. The next song off of my EP is Catch the Light. Catch the Light is the fun song. It's when you're letting go and you get out of a bad situation and you're finally like ready to be free. When I wrote it, I thought of myself racing through the night and also going through like a red light and running the red light and staying out till the sun comes up. 
and it also represents death and that living your life until you die because that's the light you see at the light at the end of the tunnel and it also has to do with me achieving my fame which is why it represents greed and pride like the lyric i'm hotter this is my my power song and i have a nod to evita which was one of my favorite musicals and she was the epitome of fame you know she was a woman who acquired fame and that's what her story is about so i wanted to do that famous you know don't cry for me argentina scene when i'm i'm above the paparazzi go to the versace mansion and i i wanted the footage to play backwards because a lot of people probably think the lyrics in the end of the bridge in a moment I could be gone, like a whisper in the night, I'll have caught the light. They probably think it's from the perspective of a relationship, but I was saying that because, you know, we all one day will die and we, you know, you don't know when your last moment is, so you have to live in the moment. And I wanted the footage to play in reverse, like you were seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, that they say when you die. So my EP is called Fire, and it's the last track on the EP, and it's the conclusion of the story. I wrote Fire from the perspective of a fantasy relationship, of what the idea of a perfect relationship is. It was a really good way to tie everything together. It, it's very personal. It talks a lot about my depression and my anxiety. I really love the beginning, how each verse starts with snip, snip. You hear that sound, another one, another cut out. I, I don't know what else to do. I'm at a, a loss for words. I'm at a point where I can't think anymore. I can't, I can't give myself anymore. I can't give any more of myself. And it, it just, it's just a song explaining how I, I just don't understand how to achieve this anymore. I, I, I need help. Um, but then you meet someone and it's like it's all new again. And that's why it's explaining like you've burned through my, my soul's desires. You, you've spread through my veins like a fire. I really wanted to play with the juxtaposition of the phrase fire and we shot it all on a beach. And we have all the different elements. We have the water, we have the fire, we have the wind, the sand, the earth. I really wanted to play with that in the video because I'm a fire sign, I'm a Leo. I have the water, you know, cooling me off and someone, you know, your perfect match, you know, fire and water. Every song has a line that ties into the previous song because it is a consecutive story. When I write, I think of how the story is gonna play out. When I wrote all the tracks on fire, I was really inspired by a lot of different themes. I was inspired by love, of course. I was inspired by religion. I was inspired by hiding from yourself and from society. My name is Cody Carrera and enjoy fire. Your strength. I love your feelings. I love your pain.